hey savage right here aka coasty and uh welcome back to my adventures i am <laughs> almost done with week five and uh today's the final day wrapping up beautiful day took a four mile out yesterday i was wasn't feeling so good <sighs> the, just tired hadn't eaten enough food i guess the night on the day before and had a couple things hurting and frustrated and whatever so got to the next shelter and just bedded down there but i am now on my way up rome mountain beautiful out i'll show you this real quick oh i think i'm past the good stuff but yeah look at this this is beautiful absolutely beautiful well i'm gonna try to get up here i think fresh grounds is I'm going to get in for lunch today. He's just past Rowan Mountain Shelter at a gap. So I'll probably see y'all there. I am so glad I took that break yesterday. But man, I think yesterday that was covered in snow. But uh, what a beautiful morning it is. Absolutely. This is awesome. The sun is coming up right over there. <laughs> And so it's kind of cool seeing the shadow of the mountain you're on in the valley. So beautiful. Whew. Oh, there was a bird flying. I thought I could see it, but that is not true. <laughs> so as we get higher up Rolling Mountain, you can see the remnants of the snow we had like two nights ago. Luckily, where I was at, I think we got some freezing rain, but... We, uh, I did not get the snow or sleep, so I'm kind of glad I took yesterday off because that means most of it's melted, so yeehaw. But, uh, this has been one of my most f favorite spots on the trail so far, like in this like spruce forest on top of our own mountain, and it's just gorgeous. Got a little bit of ice, but man, it's just a beautiful day. No wind, very important, and just the trail is beautiful. I love it. What a good day after a day of rest. So there's just a random chimney out here. <laughs> uh, somebody told me the story. I think there used to be a shelter here. But all you see is the chimney. There's like really no evidence of anything else. It's crazy. But there it is. <laughs> all right. Fresh grounds again for the win. And uh, he had spaghetti. He made me a good plate uh, without meat in it. But check out these cheese puffs. They're, like this package it's so puffed because we're up so high <laughs> this is awesome but thanks again to fresh grounds it's been great <laughs> so eating fresh grounds is awesome great food you get your some much needed calories way more than what you would have just eaten on trail only bad thing is he's always in the middle of a gap so you always have to climb out of that gap with a full stomach and it makes it tough. Uh, <laughs> oh well, I got some calories in me. Feeling good. And we're, we're getting in this, uh, these thick woods and it's just beautiful, but apparently we go up this bald. And I think some of us are trying to cowboy camp up here. So, at least I am, I don't know. So, we'll see, see what happens. So what's pretty cool is this is really dark. It may not look like it on here, but it is really dark in here. I mean, sky is blue, sun is out shining, and you couldn't tell until you walk out here and look. <laughs> look at this view. I mean, gosh, you can't, man, I wish this did better. There we go, look at that. Look at those trees. That's Rolling Mountain, that's where we just came down. I feel like I got transported out west or something. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. So different than what we've been seeing. So it's nice to see a change of scenery. And you can see down there, that's where Fresh Grounds is. That's where we just were. Awesome, awesome view, beautiful day. Glad I didn't do this yesterday. <laughs> so my first bald that I get beautiful weather for and it is awesome i want to camp here but i don't know i need to get a couple more miles i think but 
God, it's just gorgeous. Look at this view. <laughs> oh. So this way, we, we just came from that direction. <laughs> I feel like I can see my house from here. <laughs> but what's awesome is I'm on this rock and that's like a drop off. So is that, but not death. Not death, of course. Hey, look, another bald. That's cool. <laughs> I, don't I don't know about y'all, but I got these three ladies that just keep following me. I just can't shake them. I don't know. It must just be the coasty about me. They just keep following me. And they're just they're always behind me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I lost them. They must not have been following me. <laughs> All right, so I need y'all to listen to this. Do you hear it? There's nothing out here. It is so so calm right now the wind's not blowing you don't hear any animals there's no other hikers it is just peaceful it's very nice after like three days of really strong winds oh it's so great today is a good day <laughs> all right check out this view of my new camping area worth the extra couple of miles this is so awesome in the valley Kind of see the sunset. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. All right, so this campsite that we're at, well, it's pretty awesome, right? We showed you this yesterday. I showed you the valley this morning, but uh, this is the barn. This actually was used during the Revolutionary War. I don't know about the barn. I think it was, but um, the, the, I think they were called the mountain, the over, the over mountaineers, whatever. Uh, used to use this as a like I don't know resupply place or whatever for, for the Revolutionary War. Pretty cool. They used to fight the British from here. <laughs> and this this is the best privy on the trail. <laughs> it's all dazzled. And with a great view, look at that. So drinking some coffee this morning. It's the start of week six at this beautiful campsite. I think uh, I might go get a hostel night because I've got a rash all over me and uh, last night was miserable. So I'm gonna go take a shower and deal with this rash and hopefully uh, I'll be good in the morning. <laughs> Yeehaw. So I made a boo-boo. I said today was the first day of week six, but that is untrue. It's the last day of week five, and what a day it is. This has been a good morning. Wind is light. It's like 10 miles an hour, but man, is it cold. <laughs> like, it's hot out here. Not hot. It's, it would be a pleasant day if the wind wasn't blowing, put it that way. But uh, now that I've been walking for a while, the wind is actually nice to help cool off, but... You know, still nice. We started, oh, we started over that mountain. And then we came down, you can kind of see the path. And this, I feel like this one was straight up. When you were looking down there, it looked like this was straight up. Now that we're up here, it looks flat. <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful view. Got my buddy Homer here with me. And uh, we're just enjoying it. This is, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be right now. <laughs> So I don't know how many people ever grew up on a farm. Not that I did, but I've been to several. <laughs> but this is what, like, this is like, the, this stuff is like what how, you'll see these in cow pastures where all the cows walk, right? So like, I feel like I'm walking on my buddy's childhood farm and we're, we're like running into some cows. But nope, no cows out here, just hikers. <laughs> Sorry for the bounciness and the wind but man it's just a gorgeous whoops watch where you're going Ryan. it's just a gorgeous day man gosh you know maybe i stop too much or maybe i stop too little but gosh i want this house right here like 
And it's, oh God, it's just so picturesque, isn't it? Like, this is just, I want to live here. <laughs> this is so awesome. So we're about to actually cross into Tennessee for the final time. I, actually, it might just be right up ahead here, but we'll see. Let's see. I think, I think like I'm a mile or two away still, but I don't know. We'll see. So I was right. Leaving North Carolina for the last time. Oh, it doesn't have a Tennessee sign? What the crap? Well, in North Carolina, in Tennessee. North Carolina, in Tennessee. And I'm done. <laughs> so I did nine miles today. And uh, had, a, had to help a lady down about three miles to the to the gap. Now I'm at uh, a hostel called Station 19, which terrible place to to show you, but somebody bought me a beer and uh, the lady uh, bought me a, a bunk room. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy for today, <laughs> the rest of the day. And uh, so, cheers. All right, got a Reuben with an impossible yeah. patty at Station 19. Oh, that's not a sticker. Where, you got a sticker? Well, we're at Station 19. Do you mind being on YouTube? <laughs> All right, yeah. So this is an awesome place. I got a free beer earlier. Free room. Free room. Another free beer. <laughs> I live the dream here. I'm living the dream here. All right, the station at 19E. Kind of an unexpected stop. I'm glad I stopped here. Help, help uh, mischief out. And uh, I appreciate all the support out here i mean I, I don't think i paid for anything while i was here so, <laughs> it was awesome so um if you're on the trail and you're in roan mountain and you need to take a break you gotta stop at the station 19 great people awesome place to stay so i definitely recommend this place quite the change of scenery today <laughs> and everything's getting green look at that look it's green <laughs> Cool. Well, I mean, spring's coming, which is good and bad. God, mostly, I think everybody's excited about some warmer, nicer weather, but I hate to break it to them. It's going to be raining a lot soon, so it's already started. All right, so I don't know how official that is. It almost looks like I did it, but I, I promise I didn't. I, I almost did because I, I didn't know if there was a marking, but I, did, I didn't make it. <laughs> So, either way, whether this is the official 400 or not, we're really dang close. So, uh, cool. You know, uh, the 100 mile mark, I was like, cool. I've been out here for like a little over, I like 10 days, right? 200 mile mark. Still wasn't like feeling it. 300, I kind of felt a little better, but 400, for some reason, I don't know why, I actually feel like I've actually made some progress. <laughs> um, so, Yay. <laughs> Yeehaw, let's go. We're going to Maine, baby. For those of us that don't do side trails very often, they missed out if they didn't come to this one. This is Jones Falls, and best waterfall I've seen on trail, I think. And it just keeps going. But wow, I'm about to sit here, eat some lunch, and just relax next to this. If I had a hammock, I'd set it up and sleep here tonight. <laughs> that is so awesome. So I just came from down there, and I get down these steps. And immediately, it looks like the trail goes that way, right into the water. And I was like, man, that's a pretty big crossing. But then I looked down this way, and I saw the blaze. So... Don't have to get my feet wet just yet. We'll see where we go. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, we're at another waterfall for the day. Not as impressive, but it's still, still a waterfall. So I'm feeling a little homesick. Well, not really homesick per se, but I go to this place near the Cahuta Wilderness called, well, in an undisclosed location. <laughs> I was told not to disclose it, but at the campsite I go to, if, if you see some of my uh, Bronco videos, go back a few months, and uh, if you check those out, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. The, uh, there's this little creek that I camp next to, and this reminds me so much of that, and I just love it. 
And I miss my little my little campsite that I go to. I just love it. And this reminds me of it. And I'm just repeating myself. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy it. And uh, get back on trail in a second. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like attached to my bag right now. but So I got a late start coming to camp this morning. I posted the video about helping out mischief on the trail. Hope you check that out. It's actually really neat. I'm glad glad it's worked out. I uh, I was in contact with him this morning. He said he did his five miles on trail today and that he didn't have any problems. It seems to be fitting well and uh, he's been able to walk pretty good with it. So I hope it holds up for him. I think that's, I think it's awesome that we were able to help him out. That's, uh, gosh, when it came out, it turned out pretty well. I like, you know, little, little tears. <laughs> uh but no that, that was a cool experience so yeah please check that out it was really awesome that's probably like two videos back at this point so but uh i'm a little behind on trail today and i got to try to get to camp before like six tonight i think snow is incoming so uh it's gonna be a push so may not have too many videos from me today Although there is a waterfall coming up, so I gotta, I gotta get a video of that. It's gonna be cool. I heard it, heard it's the best waterfall on trail. So, I'm, with that said, I'm gonna put my head down, roll on, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. So I wish I could like show you all just the entire trail. There's my finger again, because this section has just been awesome. But like I said, I've been trying to make some miles today. So, uh, but I think we're getting close to that waterfall. So, hopefully. The next portion of the video will be us at the waterfall. But till then. Alright, look at this bridge. This thing is quite sturdy. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but uh Oh, I thought that was gonna be the waterfall. False alarm. And it's not over there either, but I tell you what, this area is so pretty. Like this is one of the, areas like this is are the reason like I, I come out places like this i just love it out here this has been a really cool trail so far today i hope that's not going too fast for y'all ah i just want to camp right here <laughs> but i gotta get going so i don't know how they do these stairs i just went up them i should have videoed them coming up because they're pretty impressive some of these are huge rocks i was like man i wonder where they got these rocks from See, there's more and more and more. And then I turn the corner and I go, oh, I think they got them from up here. <laughs> I mean, whoever built those stairs just must hate their back or something. I don't know how they do it. If you have any idea how they build stairs with huge rocks like this, please leave a comment. Tell me. These people deserve, like, cash rewards <laughs> medical benefits the whole nine yards Woo. speed record to laurel falls and go oh. this is regular speed not fast forwarding it <laughs> i'm gonna die probably be good entertainment though well not me dying but you know that's <laughs> uh, uh. It hurts less if you just go. So many rocks, good golly molly. Oh, they just keep going. <laughs> Maybe my new trail name will be Dances with Trails. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And break. So I only showed a minute of me stair running, but let, let it be known it took me like 10 minutes to get down here. <laughs> but it's worth it. Look at those waterfalls. That's got to be 50 feet of waterfall, at least. Maybe 75. Oh man, I was told how awesome this was. I didn't believe them. Cool waterfall. I definitely wish I could camp out here tonight. 
Yeah. Cool. So yesterday I started at 395 and now I am at 426, 428, 428. Yeah, right? Yeah, 428. <laughs> so, uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I think I'm going to stay. Well, in this area, uh, they say, they were, I'm right outside of Hampton, and in this area, they said there's no camping allowed or it's really restricted or something. So, today I did 14 miles, yesterday I did 18. Boy, that just doesn't add up. Maybe I need to do math again <laughs> anyways i did 14 today and i was wanting to go farther but i didn't get on trail till noon so um i was gonna pitch a tent at boots off hostel but i may just go get a cat i'm mean, not cabin i may just get in the bunk room because uh there's a it's gonna be a pretty cold morning and there's potential snow so I mean, when in Rome, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I think I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to sign off this video. Again, I thank, I thank you all, again, so much for liking, subscribing, watching, all the, all the great things you've done for me. So, I appreciate it very much, very much so. So, uh, until next time, hope to see you on the trail.